Hi, this is Mimi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are making this baseball themed cinch album. Now, if you do not have a cinch, don't worry about it. You can also make this a ring album. If you're making it a ring album, all you need is a hole punch and book rings. Okay? So, I'm going to do a quick flip through and show you what this album looks like. And then I already have everything cut, scored, and ready to go. So we can just get to putting it together. I kept it very plain. Um, this is for uh, my boyfriend and his best friend are actually going to a double header. And my boyfriend is a Mets fan and his best friend is a Braves fan. I had to think. I couldn't remember what this is for. So I'm making them an album because they're going to a Braves Mets double header. So the next one I make will be Mets here and then Braves here. This one is for his friend who's the Braves fan. Okay. okay. So it's very simple. Just, I think there's room for like 44 pictures if I counted right. And then here's this little piece that just gets tucked in here. It can hold two more pictures. These hold four by six. They're five by seven ish. These are not, these are like four and a half by seven to give room for the cinch binding. Okay. And there's these little ones. And then here we have this pocket. Oh, I have to remember to grab twine for this tag. I cut this out with my Cricut as well as this, this, and this all got cut out with my Cricut and I already have them all cut out and ready to go. These are just scraps of craft paper that I inked right here. I have some off the side and I cut to make it look like baseball glove laces. And then this is coffee dyed paper. And then here's another, um, just a four by six, just a four by six photo mat or journaling, whatever. Then we have this one. Okay. And then this one. These are very easy to put together. Um, and the, these papers are a digital from Etsy and I will link those down below. And that's all that is. And then I just left the front and the back blank because I figured they could put a picture of the stadium. Uh, the double header is up in at the Mets. And then a picture of the final scoreboards. Right? Right. Because it's a double header. So there we go. I also have ah, the rest of this spiral that was left over to use on this one. And I just have to grab my cinch later when it's time to use my cinch, but I have glue, my barely art. I need to pull out ink just for that one section and the white. I used white, you know, for a baseball up here and it's just too, too white. So I had to ink it a little bit to bring down the whiteness this for the pocket and then we're ready to go. What I think I'm going to do is walk you through how I made this page and then how I made the, this page. You know what I mean? Like you, I think, you know, once you see how you do one, how you put them all together. So I'm just going to put a few together on camera or this will be a super long video. Um, so let me get this out of the way come back and we'll get started. Okay, here's everything. I had it clipped together so I wouldn't lose anything. These are all the base pages, the cover, which is just chipboard. I get mine on Amazon and I got black this time. I usually get brown, but I decided to go with black this time and I think I'll probably go with black every time. Yep, yeah, just regular chipboard. This is craft paper and it's from Walmart. It's one of their uh, eight and a half by 11, like it's very thick craft paper anyway. And then plain cardstock for the front. So we're going to put that to the side and here is page one. So I'll show you how I did page one. Page one is just 
nine and a half by seven scored at five. So on one side, this way, you have the five inch and then the four and a half inch, okay? And then we're just gonna glue the two pieces together. I need my um, bone folder. We'll just use my Cricut scraper because I'll use it to uh, um, put down the decorative paper then. So we're just gonna crease this so it's nice and creased and in opposite ways. Okay, and then we just glue them together. So the five incher sides are together. And I can get rid of that. Every, all of the dimensions will be linked will be written in the description box like always along with the link to the digital that I bought on Etsy it's a vintage baseball themed digital okay so we're just gonna glue the three sides okay and line those up Line them up, line them up. There we go. And all I'm going to do now is take these clips and just clip them back together. Just so uh, I can put them aside and move on. Okay. Now, when I make the pocket, I won't clip, I won't make my little thumb notch until I put the paper on. Okay. All right. So now we have page two. Also, I forgot I need double stick tape. Okay. So page two is a five by seven, and these are four and three quarters scored at a quarter. Okay, by three and a half. That's what these are. And then all I will do is put the tape on and then clip the edges. I like to get a rid, rid of a little of the bulk. I feel like that was a mouthful. Yes, so while I'm doing this, my boyfriend and his, his friend, they go every time they can. I mean, we live in Pennsylvania. So it's easier for them to go to New York and the Mets play the Braves all the time. Obviously they're in, you know, they play each other and this year. I think they, it's the double headers in August, I believe. But this year when the Braves were playing earlier on the season, my boyfriend's like, oh yeah, they had a rain. It was a uh, rained out. And he's like, that means we get to go to a doubleheader. He was so excited. He's like, that means we get to go to a doubleheader. He prefers going to a doubleheader. If you're going to drive all the way over there, he likes to go to a doubleheader. Me, I like to stay home. Okay, so we're just going to line this up and not stick our fingers to it and line it up on the edge. Burnish it down, open it up, burnish it down. Okay, and then the same with the next one. They will be right next to each other. That's how I designed it. I wanted them to be independent of each other and not one full piece. But it won't help if I could get this right here. All right, and there we go. And then they both flip open, and there we go. So that's page two. And then, um, where's the pocket page? I mean, I know you know you guys know how to make a pocket, but pocket. Here we go. So 
pockets. I did a pocket on the front and on the back, and for this one, we are going to notch it, and I notched both of them together. And then we're gonna ink this one just to give it a little dimension since we are going to be gluing. Did I lose those, did I lose those pieces? Did I? Since we're going to be gluing these on, while I'm at it, I might as well just put this on just to finish this page off. That way I can put it aside and not worry about it. So I'm just using my regular walnut stain and I'm just distressing it a little bit just so you can see the difference between this and then when I put the photo mat in since I'm using the same color. Okay, and also so it looks more like an old, used up, well loved, sorry, well loved baseball glove. That's all I'm doing here. And then all I did once this was done was use those little, these to, um, to make it look like stitches. Now let me tell you, I was like, I asked him, like, what do baseball stitches, baseball glove stitches look like? I had no idea. I had to like Google it. I had to Google it. I've never played baseball. And let me tell you, when we're watching a baseball game, I'm not looking at the gloves. Okay this one over and on three sides. Like I said, I sure you guys know how to make pockets. Okay. Line that up. Great. It's lined up. And now this away. These are already inked and how I inked these was I just dragged. I just dragged my ink pad along them. So it's one, two, three stitches for the front. And these I think I cut to a quarter of an inch. Three stitches for the back. Okay. put our stitches on and I just glued them down and I'll just go through and put down the first part and come back with the for the second part that way I have them all where I want them and they're reminiscent they're not they don't look exactly like it but it gives you the feel, and that's all I care. Oh man, I just shoved my thumb in that. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days, I can feel it already. It was 90 degrees here in Pennsylvania for two days, and now it dropped to the 70s, and it's supposed to be in the 60s. <sighs> and you guys know, come on, if you know when that weather does that little weird thing, it's just horrible. First of all, it became 90 out of nowhere, and, and then to drop to the 70s and even the 60s. And I prepped my AC, we had it on for two days, and then I turned it right off. Okay, and then the same thing on the other side. And then we'll put this page aside until we um, are ready to cover everything. Also, I'm not going to cover on camera. I, you guys know how to cover things. Like, you, you cut it to size. And I have all of them, the um, 
sizes written down so I can put them in the description box and how many you need of each size if you follow this album exactly. So it's not, it's not, um, I don't think it's something that you guys need to see. It's just more a waste, more, I can't even think. It would just make the video longer. Okay. I mean, honestly. Okay. So now that you've seen how to put together the pages, the th three types of pages, basically, I'm going to pause after this and then finish getting them all together. Grab my cinch. So, and then I'll put the, I'll come through, show you the pages, and then I'll pause again and um, put the paper on. Okay, so there we go. This one's done. See, it's just something simple. We're going to put it aside and then I'll be back to show you the rest of the pages. All right, I thought before. I put the decorations down. I would show you what I have for the cover. So I have the NY. I have the little A, if I could find the other spot. Here it is. With, well, that doesn't help. The little A from the corner. I have these two pieces which were punched from my one inch punch for my one piece that I cannot find right now. And I have this, and I wanted to do this quick because I don't want to forget about it and I don't want to lose the pieces. I also have these, this goes in a pocket and this gets glued to here, but I also want to ink these. Now, <laughs> my Cricut ripped. So that is why I ended up making it into a tag. It ripped both of them right at the end. I was so mad because it's such a little intricate anyway we're gonna we're gonna dirty it up though too because I mean it's got a vintage feel and because I want to and these also are going to ink because this is what I attach to the thing for the one pocket um, and then I can put my ink away. That way I can start cleaning up my desk. That's another reason I wanted to come on and do it quick because I got so much going on here. Okay, let's glue that on here. So all I do is put glue on the whole thing, find where I want to put it. So about there, flip it over grab the other one and do the same thing and then line them up okay line them up and now that makes a little nice pull out for this let's glue these together while we're gluing uh, okay so I get a lot of my SVGs on Etsy my boyfriend wouldn't let me buy a Braves SVG. He's like, you're not buying a Braves SVG. Which is fine. I found a free one. So, just telling you, if you have a Cricut and you're looking for SVGs, always look for a free one before anything else, okay? Don't spend money if you don't have to. This, I also believe, was free. Uh, baseball stitches, Okay the Mets was not free. I bought a huge pack of Mets and I don't know where this one came from. I'm sorry. I can't help you with that. I don't remember. I've had it for so long. Ah, get off. I had it for so long. I don't remember where I got it from. It was probably also free. And then once again, just baseball SVG. Okay, so we're going to line this up to the best of our ability and then take out my hole punch. Let's put my glue away before, at least put the pin in my glue before uh, it clogs. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the biggest one and punch and then put, 
eyelid in. Okay. And then when you do eyelets, you want to put the big nub, the big nub, you see that? On the bottom side. And that's how you do your eyelets. Okay. And I have some hemp thread here. A thread twine. I'm just going to cut some off, put it aside because I do need to put some on the other one. While I was grabbing my cinch, I grabbed my big box of ribbon and twine. And I'm just going to double it up. Okay. And stick it through. And then There we go, and since there's an eyelid in, I can pull it a little tighter than I normally would, and then let's just trim it. There we go. Now we have a baseball tag, journaling, or just because. Okay, so now that that's done, I still need this. I don't need this. Let's grab everything. Here's my covers. I won't decorate them until I punch with the cinch. I'm gonna put those aside. And here is page one. So I'm gonna do page one with you guys because I have to punch that pocket and then we'll move on. So we need, is this the right? These must at least fell out of order here. Okay, so we need 16 of the smaller size. And we need 10 of six and three quarter by four and a quarter. And you need 10 of six and three quarters by four and three quarters. That is what is needed. And then I just had some coffee stained paper for that pocket page. Okay, so let's just do one and then we will move on. I just try not to have the same colors next to each other. That's all I'm doing right now. And I don't, and there we go. Okay, I'm gonna glue these down. But I just put away my glue. Aye, aye, aye. aye, aye, aye. Now, I could have put photo mats down and went crazy with the decoration, but it's for two guys. And I know these two. They're, they're, they're not gonna put down decorations, okay? It's not gonna happen. And I mean, they're not, they don't care about the decorations and, um, If I tell them literally four by six photo, they're gonna print out a four by six photo and just put it down on the paper. There's no need to put photo mats and make more bulk. I, I, let's be honest here, my boyfriend's almost likely be doing myself and maybe even his friends. I may end up getting the one for him back and being like, can you put the pictures in? It happens. Every album I have made, I make albums for his mom when they go. They used to go on. They used to go down to Florida. Uh, that's where his mom's sister and her husband live. And then they would all, they would go on a little cruise on vacation and all this stuff. So I would make albums for her and what's going on here? I'm an idiot. I need more than what I thought wasn't paying attention. Okay. Um, he would just then give me the pictures and have me put it in. It is what it is. 
Okay. So, yeah. Anyway. Most likely, I even made him, he had just a, um, one of those, like, Dollar Tree paper, you know what I mean, with their, like, plasticky photo albums from uh, a football game he went to filled with photos and I made him a new album really nice new album for Christmas the one year and he brings everything he goes could you put the picture in yep <coughs> same with the other Mets album I made for him this is the second Mets album I've made for my boyfriend the other one was like insanely detailed because he had so many photos but I've decided that from now on he just gets photo albums for every game he goes to because I can't that one there it was so stuffed full I should really make him bring it so I can do a flip through of it okay so this is why I wanted to show you the left side always has to be here because we're going to punch it with the cinch okay here while I have my cinch here I'll show you what I mean so if you've never used a cinch, if you have a cinch, you know how it works. If you've never used a cinch and are interested, this is how it works. So you take this piece and right here it tells you where to put it. If it's a whole size, which this is, it's seven inches, you put it in at the A, okay? So you plop it in at the A and then you take the page and you push it all the way and you punch down and there's your holes and then what you do what I usually do is I punch through everything all at once and then I come back and do the second punching what you're gonna do is the second to last you're going to line up with this guy here and that locks it in place you push up and you punch that way everything is even and I still need some there so I will do that and then you make sure you push to the back and there you go okay so when I say you need that spot on this side that is the cinch binding see okay so what we're gonna do is then just take this guy luckily this is not that really sucks I was not paying attention also pay attention to where your pocket is I was not like I said this paper is getting covered up anyway with pictures don't matter just come in and there we go okay and here we go I mean the, the paper is not directional so it doesn't really matter that's the good thing about this paper and there we go okay see even that there's a baseball this way and a ba this doesn't really matter it's not directional okay so that's the first page now I'm gonna go through and quickly put everything on and I'll be back okay well I'm back all my pages are covered and I injured myself um, word to the wise if you get angry that your glue is clogged do not repeatedly shove the pin in because eventually you'll slip and stab yourself with the pin yeah so everything's in order everything's where it's supposed to be all we have to do is thread this through which I always get screwed up with threading it through, how you start it, every time, and I don't know why. You would think I would be used to it by now, but you just wind it through. There we go. You just wind it through, find the next hole, if I can find it. And once again, if I can find the hole. Oh, I know you're all out there thinking that joke, aren't you? I am too, but I'm not going to say it. Because my nieces do watch my videos. Okay. So we just wind it through. I really need to look into getting, because this is my favorite cinch binding. 
I'm going to tell you that. This is my favorite cinch binding is the spiral. I just think it's so much better than the twin loop, wire twin loops. So I should look into, they, they make a crimper that I think cuts and crimps it. I just, I, <laughs> I just end up cutting it with a scissor because you can. And then I make it a little bit longer than it needs to be on both sides. So let me get my scissor and I'm going to cut it to here just so I know I have enough room and um, you can save this because this is one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, no, you can't. It's not enough because when you do the center, it's six holes. So it's slightly too small. But I'm totally going to use it as a fidget toy. Huh. Anyway. Okay. So what? Yeah, I'm filming. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I had to pause because my son thought it would be very funny to th throw his middle finger under the camera. Mm -hmm. You'd think he wouldn't be 20 years old, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> he said he's going to, it's a little spice for my video. Okay. This is the front. He doesn't want to be in here. He just barks. He doesn't want to be in here when I'm crafting. He hates me. Okay. So, sorry. What I do is I just take these little crafty jewel, I think they're jewelry making set, and I kind of wrap it around and then twist it. Okay. That way it doesn't come out, doesn't come apart. Like I said, they do make a thing for it. I should really invest in one. And then I swing that to the back so I can do the same thing over here. And look, see how much I, I left on there? That's what I mean. You need a good amount. So I always overestimate how much I need. And do the same thing. I hope I remember to cut out him flipping the bird. A goofball. And he's like, well, you should have told me you were filming. And the moment he stepped in my door, I said, I'm filming. I mean, I don't understand. What more can I say? <sighs> this one's a pain. And then just squeeze it. I really need to look into them chompers. There we go. Okay? So, that's done. Let's put that away, that away, and grab our stuff for the front cover, which is three items. Okay. I also need, um, here we go. I need to pop up. I want to pop up the NY. Okay. So we take this and we're going to put it about here. We're trying the best to match up the other one. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Yeah. See, look how bad I bent my pin. Look at that. I stabbed myself. I have more pins. So we're going to skip that little bit there and skip that there and just put some glue on our stitches and then we'll lay it down. Okay. So right there looks good. A, this was my boyfriend's contribution. His one contribution to this album was, hey, can you put who we're playing that, like the A down here? I'm not sure, why not? Why not? And we're gonna trim that and that. Okay, there we go. And the NY we're going to pop up on uh, foam. I did that also with the A on the other one. <laughs> it's 
It's a very quiet Sunday here in the neighborhood. I don't know what's going on. We do have new people, two new people on our, true new families on our street wall. The one guy across the street from us is just left the military. Um, so, okay, I just want to do a little bit on these since they're so small. I don't want them to kind of collapse down. This will end up, I know at my it will end up in my boyfriend's living room. Everything I make him ends up in the living room for everyone to enjoy. Now I have to remember, you're not going to know. I'm just talking to myself. Edit out my kid being a butthead. <sighs> okay, good enough. I'm not too worried about it. My boyfriend knows to be careful. So what I'm going to do is peel all this off and I'm going to add some glue to it also because we want this to last a long while. But what I don't want is that paper stuck there. I did that with the other one also. Uh, that is a tip I got from May May from May May Made It. And especially since this is Dollar Tree foam, dimensional foam tape stuff. Don't mind me. I still have another video to film today. I'm so behind. I haven't been wanting to do anything. It was too hot. I don't want to, it was so hot. Um, I said before we live in a brick house and oh god it gets so hot in here. Even with the central air it gets so hot. Like honestly if you don't have the central air going constantly it still gets so hot in here. Never again would I ever, well, first of all, who can afford a brick home anymore? Well, I almost put that upside down. Wouldn't that have been funny? Oh, and look at that. Let's get that out of there. Okay. And put it about here. Here we go. That is all done. Let me pause, clean up, and I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Two albums all ready to go. They look really good, don't you think? Look at them. They're so good. And I put the pages in the same order, but I did not use the same paper on each page that's just that's just too much effort and like I said they're just gonna put the pictures in I did off camera add the strings on the hemp twine on this one so what do you guys think it's such a cute little album I think the guys will love putting their photos in it and once I know what the date is, I'll probably end up putting the date somewhere in this album so they remember what date it was. All right, guys, uh, how do you like this? Let me know down below. Are you a baseball fan? And what's your favorite baseball team? I need to know. Thanks for joining me today. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.